Hey there guys, so we're back and I'm a little bit more away from the uh, noise now, but uh, as you can see, there's actually a koi pond here. You can check out the pond, some people hang out, waterfall. And what we have here is very hazy. So imperialized uh, haze, which is already 8%. Now we have 8.6%, uh, the double IPA. Uh, medium, gold, super hazy, very familiar look to haze. Let's get it on this. <laughs> it's, it smells like haze. Um, rich amounts of tropical fruit, it bursts of just straight up pineapple, mango. Lots of uh, citrus peel, maybe some tangerines, some really bright citrus, uh, yep. touch of yellow grapefruit. Yeah, I would say yellow grapefruit, tons of tropical, uh, leaning towards that uh, white peach and uh, stone fruit note, but without being overly juicy, not too much of this like yellow grapefruit, uh, yellow peach thing. Bright, a little bit of like, you know, fresh breadiness, amazing, cheers. Biggest beer of the day, uh, but oh so soft. Um, yeah, that's soft. <laughs> yeah, okay, that might be the best. Falls up front, not quite as uh, juicy as King King, uh, King Jude Julius. Um, again, pineapple for days, tons of pineapple, like pineapple uh, ice, um, pineapple candy. Uh, lots of this like bright orange character, not overly juicy. Again, a little bit pithy, a little bit pulpy. Uh, grapefruit, yellow grapefruit. Um, a little bit of like, uh, again, that white bready malt in the middle. Moves on to a nice kind of grassiness, onto a little bit of herbaceous quality. Good amount more actually of tropical uh, lingering towards the end of the palate. 8.6%, not the biggest mouthfeel. Not super cre as creamy as the other beers, but still medium to medium plus. Um, nice and dry in the finish, not as bitter and aggressive as uh, Julius and King Julius on the finish. Not that those beers are too necessarily aggressive, but they definitely show you a little bit of like sharpness. This one has a little bit of that edge, but not as aggressive. Um, absolutely amazing, super soft like haze. Yeah, it just bumps up haze, I would argue, a little bit. Bumps up the juiciness a little bit. Soft quality is taken back a little bit but offers more drinkability because that hint of sharpness on the finish. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. Again, I, I, I sound like a you know <laughs> an idiot calling everything 100 plus out of 100, but these are Treehouse, insane, insane beers, 100 plus out of 100. This is, in the range of things, even better than King Gigi Julia, so the best level IPA. This is very hazy. Um, just as good as haze and just as amazing as everything else they put out, so it's all moot, who cares? Cheers, next time. Uh, put out another review, I'll be grabbing some more beers later.